Today I'm going to make a fake fireplace mantle. We're going to use it to put trophies and pictures on it. This is my first big woodworking project. I've done axe handles and cutting boards and things like that, but nothing this big. My goal is to not have to use nails or glue to hold this together, just joinery. Uh, given this is my first time at something like this, I'm sure I make a lot of mistakes, but, but we'll see how it goes. Well, I've already done some of the initial work. The top part of the mantle, the flat side, will be made out of ash and then the legs and supports will be made out of poplar. It probably wasn't a good idea to use different types of wood, but uh, it's the wood I had available, and poplar is nice and straight and easy to work with, so that's what I went with. I ripped the wood using my crosscut saw, and to find the center I used my plumb bob, and then to get a nice straight line I used some, some chalk, uh, and then I took all the bark off with my draw knife. Now the next step is I'm going to be working on the joints. This is the joint I'm working on. This is the front of the mantle, this is the back. And so the legs are going to be mounted against the wall in the back of the mantle. And these two pieces are intended to fit together. And then uh, because this wants to rotate forward, um, this should lock in place. I'm just working the face of this joint. I want it to be flatter so it's a good lock inside the, uh, the top of the mantle. So I just need to take, you know, just take a small amount off, um, which will help it lock in there better. Okay, I've cleaned up the face of this, made it a little deeper so it fits in the joint better. And then when we put it in here, that fits in there real nice. But... Well, the mantle's starting to come together. I've got my two joints completed. And remember, these legs are going to be mounted to the wall and the joints in back. And so the mantle wants to rotate forward, and so this ends up locking it in place, no nails required. The next step, I'm going to start working on the, the base that goes underneath the mantle. Slowly going to work some of the wood away here to make this fit underneath the mantle main base. I finished up the support piece, and I've carved this out so it fits right in here. Um, and I've also tried to make this follow the contour of the wood underneath here so it fits nice and square. I think I made maybe my first mistake. I should have probably done some joints in the back of this and the joints in here, but I started carving this out and I, I didn't do that. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use a dowel. I'm going to put some dowels in that are press fit for both this and the mantelpiece. Uh, there are going to be two of them in here and this is going to be tapped into place to support that. Uh, and that's what I'll do at the very end. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this apart and smooth everything out, get this chalk off, make everything look look real nice and smooth. So that'll be my next step. Now I finished smoothing everything out. Uh, after I peeled all the bark off of the legs, I took my draw knife to it, then I smoothed it up with some sandpaper. And then the, the top of the mantle is nice and smooth now as well, uh, and the support. So we're all set and I'm ready to reassemble it and mark where I'm going to put the dowel pins in. attaching the final support piece here with the dowel pins in place now. This is the mantle from the back side and I've got the center support on and obviously it's not perfect because this doesn't quite fit in there. It's, it's not sitting in there solid so I have to take some material out here so that locks into place. Well, here's the mantle. It's all assembled. 
I've got my locking joints in back, the dowel pins are nice and tight, and this turned out really great, I think. Well, here it is, mounted to the wall, except for the brackets that attach it to the wall, I didn't use any nails or glue. It's, it's held together strictly with joinery. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Uh, next, we're going to decorate it, maybe put a picture up here, um, but I really enjoyed this project and I hope you did too. Thank you.